Hello all, a uh, little quick video um, just to give you a little update of what I've recently been up to. I've not posted recently. I sold my Honda, uh, it's gone, as in the CB125F. And I bought two bikes, but this is one of them. This is a Honda Innova. It was a 2012. It had 180 miles on the clock. And I have brought it up from Aldershot in Hampshire all the way to Scotland. Uh, I am currently at Applecross uh, and I've ridden up uh, overnight stop in Halifax, Edinburgh, the Cairngorms, uh, around Loch Ness and Fort Augustus, uh, up to uh, or Augusta, whatever it's called, up to uh, Dingwall, and then I took the road up to Chong, turned off and went through Ben Hope, uh, and this little bike has done it, and now I've come down the coast, Grunard Bay, and I'm currently at Applecross waiting to go up there, which is the pass of the cattle. But as you can see, the weather is foul and horrible. So I thought I'd give you a quick walk around the bike that's done it. So far, done 1,050 miles. I'm averaging about 110 miles on a tank of fuel, 3.7 litres. And slightly modified. Everything is stock apart from the lights, as you can see on the front. I've got, I made a plate up. I used the basket rack. I've got a Rigid Industries. SRM2 uh, which is on dip beam and a dually with a 20 degree spot on main beam which really 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 works as you can see I've got my other GoPro on the front there with the ram mount system that works lovely oh there's bunny bandit yeah that's another day I'll tell you about that another day anyway uh, everything is standard apart from that the stock tires Dunlops the TT 900s everything was as this bike came out of the factory literally at 180 miles when I bought it um, essential pieces of kit for this journey uh, unless you've got a backside made of steel Airhawk absolutely fantastic uh, I've been riding 8 or 10 hours a day in the saddle without that I could never have done it it's fantastic it's like floating on air um, got jibby panniers they've got the waterproof covers on because it's raining because it's Scotland uh, small jibby box Jivy waterproof bag, I think that's a 50 litre that one, and a 30 litre one on the top which I just carry my washing in and my wet gear, basically. Uh, I'm currently, I'm going to show you this, I don't know why, oh by the way that, that's a Hunnersdorf 3 litre fuel friend can basically, and I've got a 1 litre can under the seat to give me double range. Uh, the midges today are particularly bad in Scotland, hence I'm talking to you through this net. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, yeah, so the bike's been brilliant. Uh, I come right up through the peaks, the Yorkshire Dales, uh, across Northumberland Park, killed a forest, all the big hills. I've gone through just about every mountain range there probably is in Scotland on my way up to Durness. This bike was fantastic. Um, I'm not going to tell you it's done 60, 70 all the way because it hasn't. I'm 18 stone. I've got about 20 kilos of luggage on board, um, but it hasn't really struggled as such. You've got to use your gearbox. And every so often just pull over and let it cool down. Uh, I put a, a slightly cooler plug in it before I went. And I've run it on super unleaded where I can get it, basically. Uh, but apart from that, absolutely fantastic. I've been averaging 45, 50 miles an hour. Some of the routes, though, to be honest, you just want to ride it 40 or 30. And it's been fantastic for that. Uh, Semi-automatic gearbox, as you might know. Um, if you're an enthusiast of the Cub type bikes. And that's really it. Uh, in a minute I'm going to go up the pass of the cattle and um, we're going to see what happens. I'm pretty sure it'll make it up. It's made just about everything else, albeit even if it's in first gear. One other thing I've done to the bike is I've put a little DIN socket in here, waterproof, uh, which I bought a DIN lead basically uh, 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 with a USB port and an iPhone thingy. That's my switch for my lights on the front. As you can see, uh, the dip beams on and then basically how I've made that work is when you start the engine the headlight is uh, AC driven rather than DC so basically I used a power converter if you want to know more just private message me I'll tell you how I did it but basically inside here under the cover I put a switching relay a changeover relay in and it basically gives a feed to the relay which then this one's operated on uh, all the time and then 
when you flip the, the main beam on, this one comes on. So you've got one or the other. As I say, this is a spot beam. This is more of a flat spread across the road. They are fantastic. 1100 lumens in that one, 1500 lumens in that one. Uh, it blows the headlight away. You can't even see the headlight when it's on. Uh, and I'll probably make a video about that as well. But anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, just to say, uh, I'm going to carry on today. I'm going to go on the Isle of Skye. And then from there, I'm going through the Loch Lomond and the Trossachs. But if ever you wondered, can you tour on a bike like this? Scooty Man says you can, because I'm doing it. And it works. Over and out.